If you're suffering from digestive issues, the cause just may be leaky gut. So let's figure out how to diagnose it today. Hi, I'm Dr. Ariane Missimer. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, doctor of physical therapy, and registered dietitian. And I am going to talk to you today about what leaky gut is, what are some of the symptoms, what are some of the causes, and of course, what are some tests that you can help determine if you have leaky gut. So what is leaky gut? Medically speaking, this is referred to as intestinal permeability. So essentially we have our gut lining, which is our protective barrier. It allows us to absorb the nutrients that we're consuming within the small intestine and also prevent things from moving into the bloodstream like pathogens, toxins, undigested food. When this happens, when the gut lining becomes leaky, then we have things that are entering into the bloodstream where now we will have an immune response. This can create a localized or systemic inflammation that could present many different ways for different people from chronic pain to autoimmune disease. So what are some of the symptoms of leaky gut? So of course it can be generalized or more specific symptoms. So we can have our typical GI symptoms. So things like gas and bloating, as well as constipation, diarrhea, acid reflux, and any other digestive concern that you can imagine. But we also can have things like fatigue, mood issues, decreased concentration, brain fog, Let's not forget increased food sensitivities, intolerances, and even allergies, as well as chronic inflammatory issues, things like arthritis, even skin issues, eczema, acne, rosacea, and nutrient deficiencies. So what are some of the underlying causes of leaky gut? So one of the big ones is dysbiosis. So any type of imbalance of bacteria can be linked to leaky gut. There's also things like alcohol use, poor sleep, over-exercise, chemotherapy and radiation, NSAIDs and other medications, as well as, of course, a poor diet, especially the standard American diet. So how can we test for leaky gut? So it's important to recognize that there is not one validated test for leaky gut at this point. However, there are several tests that can be extremely valuable in looking at the possibility of leaky gut and how that is correlated with your or your patient's clinical symptoms. So one of the key ways that we can look at this is through zonulin testing. So this can be a standalone test through diagnostic solutions, or it can also be part of a comprehensive GI map test. So in this particular test, zonulin is the protein that's going to hold the tight junctions together in the gut. So when we have an increase in zonulin, that is indicative of a potential leaky gut. So when we're looking at this particular test, whether again, it's a standalone or part of a comprehensive test, we can get a much better understanding if this is a possibility as it relates to yours or your patient's symptoms. When we're looking at the comprehensive GI map, it is going to look at all aspects of the microbiome. So when we're looking for root causes, we wanna understand intestinal health. So how are you digesting your food, for example? Are your pancreatic enzymes very low? Is there increased fat in the stool? But also things like, do you have antibodies build up to gluten? Is there a parasitic infection? Or is there just simply dysbiosis, which as we know as one of the causes of leaky gut, that that is a huge possibility that might be factoring into leaky gut symptoms. Also looking at food allergy and potentially food sensitivity testing. So this can be really valuable in that if you are someone that is getting new food allergies and sensitivities, and it just seems like you're unable to tolerate a lot of different foods, then this to me means there's a more core issue. So this is where looking at these types of testing can be really valuable to understand that yes, you're becoming more reactive to things that you weren't reactive to before. A micronutrient panel such as SpectraCell can be very helpful in understanding your micronutrient status. So if, for example, you are consuming a lot of micronutrients, however, you may not be absorbing them, then this can be indicative of leaky gut. So it can be really valuable as you're looking at a complete picture and correlating it with your symptoms or your patient's symptoms to be able to get understanding if leaky gut is a possibility. And last but not least is hormone testing. So this could be a more comprehensive panel such as the Dutch test, or you could do blood panel even with your primary care or OB, for example. And this can start to give you a better understanding if there are significant hormonal imbalances, which may be a result of leaky gut, which is important to recognize as once again, as we put together a complete picture of your matrix, what's happening in the different systems of your body that are correlating with leaky gut. 
fortunately, Rupa Health has made these tests available for everyone. So we are able to find not only underlying root causes, but be able to diagnose what might be happening and most importantly, heal your body and thrive. If you want more videos on root cause medicine, make sure to subscribe to our channel.